Okay, friends, today we are going to see types of angles. Okay, Euclidean geometry, part 2 of 25. So let's start with the parts of an angle. Okay, the parts of an angle. To have an angle, you need an initial site, a terminal site, and you also need a vertex. A vertex is commonly known as a corner. So the vertex is O. This is the corner. This is the point where the initial and terminal site they meet at O. So O is the vertex. The initial site is OA. Okay, initial site OA and terminal site OB. Let's move on now to types of angles. Okay, we have a zero angle when you have. The terminal site OB lying exactly on top of the initial site OA. You can see the terminal site OB, OB is exactly on top of the initial site OA, not opened. So theta is equal to zero degree when it is a zero angle. So this is a zero angle. And we also have an acute angle. Okay, acute angle. You have it between 0 degree and 90 degrees. Okay, an acute angle is not equal to 0 and not equal to 90 degrees. But you have an acute angle between. It can be 1, 2, 5, 45, any value between 0 and 90 degrees. You can use a protractor to check the size of this angle. You are going to see that the angle is in between 0 degree and 90 degrees. So let's start from 0. Okay, 0. I want to start from the initial side. Okay, initial side. I'm going to put this at the vertex. Okay. The from the initial side. Now we are going to measure this angle. We are going to take this up to the terminal side. You can see the size of this angle is 26 degrees. Okay, 26 degrees. You can see 26 degrees is in between. Okay, between 0 and 90 degrees. This is what? This is an acute angle. Remember, between 0 and 90 degrees you have an acute angle okay and we also have a right angle okay like this a right angle is exactly equal to 90 degrees okay theta is equal to 90 degrees so side OA is perpendicular to OB okay OA is perpendicular to OB okay now you have 90 degrees. Let's move on. And we have an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. Okay. An obtuse angle is in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay. An obtuse angle is not equal to 90 degrees and is not equal to 180 degrees. But between. Okay. Between. Meaning it can be 91 or 90 comma something okay but not equal to 90 degrees it can be 95 100 120 150 170 but not equal to 180 degrees okay between you can use your protractor to check the size of this angle okay let me see okay i'm going to start from this side zero degree Okay, I'm going to put this at the vertex, at the corner. Okay, there. And I'm going to measure until the terminal side. There. Okay, until the terminal side. You can see the size is 119 degrees. 119 degrees. Okay, you can see between 119 degrees is between. So this is an obtuse angle. We also have a straight angle like this. 
when you open this terminal side until you have it this side you have a straight line this is straight angle which is exactly equal to 180 degrees and we have a reflex angle okay a reflex angle you have it between 180 degrees and 360 degrees not equal to 180 not equal to 360 but between and we also have a full angle okay full angle you have this when you go around until you come to your initial side okay when you take this you go around until you bring it to the initial side like this now this angle is equal to 360 degrees when you carry on you rotate again a full turn you bring it on top of the initial side you're going to have 720 or any other value as you keep adding 360 okay full turn other weights that you can use for full angle a full angle can be called a full rotation or a full turn or a complete angle these are other weights that you can use for a full angle We also have a positive angle. Okay, positive angles. So, positive angles are measured anti clockwise. Positive angles are measured anti clockwise or counter clockwise. This is another word for anti clockwise. This is anti clockwise. Just to make sure, anti clockwise in opposite direction. Of the end of the clock okay this is anti anti-clockwise positive angles okay positive angles are measured anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and clockwise the same way the end of the clock turns okay like this so this is negative angles we are going to see that a negative angle like this can you see clockwise Negative angles are measured clockwise. So we also have interior angles. Interior angles are angles that lie inside a given shape. Okay, given shape. You are going to see why I'm saying given shape. Okay, so examples of interior angles. You can have this, all these angles. They are inside. The triangle ABC. So they are called interior angles, meaning they are inside. Okay, interior means inside. You can have something like this. This is an interior angle. This is also an interior angle. This is also an interior angle because they are inside this triangle ABC. When I consider this, this shape B, C, E, D. Okay, when I consider this shape B, C, E, D, now these angles they are going to be exterior because they are not inside this shape. Okay, if I'm referring to this shape, these angles they are going to be called exterior. Okay, if I'm referring to this shape, so we also have exterior angles. Okay, exterior angles are angles that lie outside a given shape. Okay, so examples of exterior angles. If you have A, B, C, D, this is outside of this shape. This is also outside of this shape. So this is an exterior angle and this is also an exterior angle. So we are done with part 2 of 25. Please check for part 3 of 25. Okay. <laughs>